If you think this looks like a ChatGPT interface, this is ChatGPT like, but not ChatGPT. We're going to build a web UI, or at least we're going to use a web UI with Olama, completely locally models. All the models are going to be in your local machine and we need only three things. First, we of course need Olama. The second thing we need is Docker. And the third thing we need is Olama Web UI. If you have got all these three things, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to run or how to get an interface like this on your local computer. Even if you have got like a decent 8 GB machine, this should ideally work. It might be slower, but at the end of the day, this just works. So how to do that? Let me show you a quick demo. I've uh, gone to this interface and I just asked like, tell me a random fact fun fact about Roman Empire and it gave me an answer and I said like write a Python code to read a CSV it gave me a Python code and I can go here and click, click um, like new chat and I can also select a model. So these are the models that I've got Llama 2, Mario, Mistral, Tiny Llama. If you do not know what is Mario here, I'll link my first old Llama tutorial in the description so you know what am I talking about. So once you have this kind of interface, it, I think it's quite easy. Typically when you use old Llama, a lot of people complain that you know they want conversational history, uh, they want to go back and then see what happened. Sometimes they want the ability to export the conversations. I mean, all these things are quite possible with this particular interface, which even lets you communicate with voice. How to do that? First thing, step one, you need to download Olama and install it. Olama is out of box available for Mac OS and Linux. And if you use Windows, you need to use WSL2, Windows um, sub Linux system, I guess, WSL2 to install um, Olama on Windows. It's very straightforward on Mac. You just have to click download it. After you download it, double click it, and then that will start running Olama on your local machine. Then you can download any model that you want using Olama Models Hub. So if you go to Olama Models, you basically see all these models available. Most of the popular models are available here for you to use it. Like for example, you want Mistral, you can click Mistral and this small command, if you run it on your terminal, this will basically download the Mistral model for your own Llama inside your local machine. It downloads a, qu a quantized model, not like the full model, but still the model actually just works. So this is how you install Olama. So first download it. After you download it, pick up any model that you like and say just like run that model name. Here is a model name. Olama run Mistral and that should completely work. So you go to your terminal and uh, you go to terminal and then just say Olama run Mistral. If you say that, it will try to run the Mistral model. If you do not have anything called Mistral, it will download the Mistral and run it as simple as that. That's the first step. The second step is you need to have Docker installed. Docker helps you uh, containerize all these application software so that it's easy for people to distribute. So Olama web UI developers somehow decided that it is the easiest way to send this distribution. So you need Docker to make it easier. You have different ways to compile that yourself, uh, build that yourself without Docker as well. But I think it is a little hectic. So it'll, it'll be much easier if you have Docker. But if you don't have Docker as well, they've got their own tutorials on um, their uh, GitHub repo. After you have Docker installed, the next thing you need to do is make sure that the Docker is running. At this point, you have Olama running. At this point, you have Docker running. And how to verify Olama running, that I will show, show you quickly. So now is the, the top application layer on top of it, which is Olama Web UI. It's a friendly web interface, uh, just like ChatGPT interface. It has a lot of, um, a lot of things that you can typically do, just like how you do with ChatGPT. Most important thing is you have a UI to chat with, you have import and export, and uh, you can you know sort pull any model that you want, certain other options are available. So after you have installed this, um, or after you have uh, come at least at this stage, where you have got Olama and Docker ready, then the next thing that you need to do is you need to copy this particular thing. So it is under the section called using Docker and under the section you can follow, copy this particular command. You copy this particular command and before you go run this, make sure you have got Olama currently running. If you click this particular thing, uh, 127.0.0.1 and in the 11.434 port, you can see it says Olama is running. So at this point, you have Olama running and you have Docker running as well. And all you have to do is copy this and go to your terminal and then just paste this. So you can go to your terminal and just simply paste this just like how I have done it. 
once you paste this if that image is not available locally if the docker image which uh, lets you basically run this web ui is not available locally then it will start pulling the docker image and then it will run the docker image for you if it is already available or if it is already running then it will say there is a conflict that the container is already in use and if you are not using it if you run it it will pick up this from the local computer and it will start running it so either way the download is only the first time after that you can just get started you can simply run it once you run that particular thing this web ui is going to run on local host 3000 so olama is running on 127.0.1 um 11 434 port and the olama web ui is hosted on localhost 3000 port and uh, you can access this over lan as well like for example you have like a like a router set up inside your uh, house where you have got like a server and you want to distribute this across your family members you can still do it without having to use chat gpt if you have got a powerful computer so click this and once you click this that will basically take you to localhost 3000 and that is where you enter into this interface which is very chat gpt like interface the first thing that you need to do is you need to pick up a model i have already installed these four models on my computer llama 2 a customized version called mario mistral and a very small experimental model called tiny llama if you want to download new models all you have to do is you can go here um select i think you can select two models okay you can go to the settings and you can go to the models and you can pull a new model if there is a new model you want to download you can download it if you want to delete an existing model you can go delete here so it is quite simple for example you can go here and then say hermes and uh, you can download it it's better to get the right name you can go here to the model hub and get the model that you want whatever model that you want you can search here for example you can go here search hermes and uh, once you get hermes for example it is open hermes mistral 2.5 mistral you can just click here and get the model name in itself and come back here and then post the model name so you come back here post the model name and then you can see that it is starting to download the open hermes 2.5 mistral 7 mistral model it's a it's a fine-tuned version of the model and you can see that it started pulling the model you can still use the other models while this is happening then you have certain add-ons uh, you have a voice input option um, the title is auto generated just like hugging face chat and chat GPT and if you still want to use open AAP key you can of course use open AAP key as well and you have certain options like how hyper parameter tuning that you want to do uh, for a not tuning hyper parameter control so on uh, chat GPT you don't have any of these options but here you have an option to reproduce the same output you have like a temperature which helps you in creative tasks and you have like a lot of other typical large language model parameters that you would not typically get if you use a solution like ChatGPT. This is quite a good interface uh, to be honest. Uh, right now you are serving it like, like directly from the Olama server, like the local computer, but you can also uh, use external server and then give the same API here for you to use Olama. It also supports system prompt. Like for example, you can say be humorous, be, um, be kind, like whatever you want like you have got kids at home you don't want them to use uncensored stuff so you can specify very clearly in the system prompt for it to censor whatever content that is being displayed i think this is uh, uh, quite amazing it's been created by timothy j bake uh, very amazing um, for, for us to use it and uh, the using the usage of this is quite simple like all you have to do is go here select a model once you select a model like for example if i select mistral model all I have to do is come back here and um, I have to ask a question. All I can say is um, what is 2 plus 2? I don't know if it is going to give me the right answer because typically large language models are not really good at math. And um, that's exactly why in the very latest Qstar video, we talked about something called PRM, which is uh, rewarding every single process than outcome. If you have not seen that video i would strongly recommend you to see that and olama with mistral has given us the right answer 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and uh, you are not going to use this large language model to see 2 plus 2 equals 4 most likely you are going to use it for business purpose for example give me um, a tweet that would um, introduce a new video about chat gpt like web ui completely locally so i can give this it would understand this message and after it understands this message 
it would start giving you the response as you all know most likely my mission is quite a old mission like probably like four years old mission and on this mission you can see the amount of time it takes uh, one advantage that i have is i have like a huge ram but if you have uh, apple silicon machine most likely you should be able to get the same speed and if you are on linux if you have got like nvidia support then i guess this should be much faster than what you seeing in this um, interface but i guess like it is still not very slow for you to use it i think this is if you don't want to pay the 20 dollars and you still want to have variety of models you still want to have maximum control about what you see how you see repeatability and all these reproducibility I think this is one of the best solutions available. Um, the chart history is available. You can go click new chart and every new chart, you can select the model that you want. Um, like I said, you can download the model as well. Like you can go see here, download the model. I think this is quite a brilliant setup and all it requires is three items. You want Olama, you want Olama web UI and you need Docker for you to do it. If you do not want to use Docker because some, some people don't like Docker, they feel it is over bloated then you can go ahead and run this yourself but it's uh you know you have to have uh, npm installed and all these kind of things so it's uh, it's not impossible you can still uh, do all these things without docker as well but it takes a lot of steps if you want to do it you can go here and then see but i would say that the easiest solution is to use docker and then run this run olama on uh, 11434 then have docker running then just copy and paste this on your terminal uh, if you're on linux shell and you should be able to use a uh, olama web ui on localhost 3000 and uh, say bye bye to chat gpt i hope this video was helpful to you see you in another video happy prompting